Hi friends, hope you all are doing good. Welcome to my channel Pinto Vinay Cuisine. And in today's video, I am going to show a traditional and original Goan pulao recipe, also called arroz. Everyone know what is that, right? So our parents and grandparents will know this very well. In my childhood days, I still remember they used to pass a small plate with sausage meat and salad. We used to relish. As many of you still remember this and the taste, right? It was awesome. So I am going to show the same way as many has requested for this recipe. So watch the video carefully and follow each and every step. You will get it right. You can make this at home. What we need is a bigger container. For 500 grams, I am going to show a recipe. For 500 grams of rice, I have taken 500 grams of bones. First thing what we need to do is we need a proper stock. And this I am going to do it with beef bones. So I have taken 500 grams of beef bones, one garlic, whole pod crushed. And then I have bay leaves which is 5 inch, cinnamon stick 2 of each which is 2 inch and then I have cloves 15 inch and peppercorn 15 inch. So this we need to boil at least we need 1 liter after we boil so at least uh, we have to keep it on simmer for 3 hours let it cook. So first thing I am going to keep this on the flame. Guys, we'll check on the stock. This was on simmer for last three hours. You can see how well it is reduced. We only need one liter for 500 grams of rice. So you can check the color and the aroma is also quite good. This is how stock has been made. And now meanwhile, this I'm going to switch off the flame, almost ready. And uh, meanwhile, what we're going to do is we're going to soak the rice. The rice has to soak for at least 20 minutes. And we'll check on the other ingredients too. Guys, let's quickly check on what other ingredients what we need. I have soaked the rice and kept for 20 minutes now. Stock, the same one I have strained and kept, 1 litre. Then uh, what we need, also need is onion, 2 medium size chopped and kept. Tomato one medium chopped and then uh, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder cinnamon stick half inch then uh, I have uh, cloves eight each and uh, cardamom green lychee which is five inch so let's start with the cooking process now guys as the pan is already hot I will add ghee you can use ghee or butter I will add two tablespoon of ghee Dry. Now I will add onion. Let's saute this for a while. Guys, now it's time to add tomato. Saute this for a while. So now this is well saute, you can check the color. Now it's time to add turmeric powder. Now I will add rice to this. Let's remove all the water. Rice we kept it on soap. Mix this properly. Guys, right, check this one. This you have to mix it properly. And one more thing, it is very very important when you make pulao or when you cook the rice. Once you add stock, don't keep on mixing it. Otherwise, you will break the grains. Grain should be 
like that only so now i'm going to add stock to this slowly mix it now we need to add salt mix it let it come to boil we'll check the seasoning guys check this out this is on medium flame slowly mix it and then cover it and keep on medium flame I check this out. This rice is now ninety percent cook. What you have to do at this stage is with the fork just mix it like this. There is still water. Arrange it nicely. Cover it again. keep on the flame for few seconds and then let the heat remains inside and now i'm going to turn off the flame so with the heat only it will be ready the rice will cook 100% guys one thing to keep in mind i will check the rice first check out check the grains this is how rice should be and one thing to keep in mind that once you switch off the flame cover it and keep it for at least 15 minutes now i have opened it after 15 minutes so that the rice is cooked fully and uh, now i'm going to transfer this to the bowl and uh, this is ready to be served i check this out all of it looks check out the color because of the steam my camera was not catching the proper color see how delicious it looks this is how pulao has been made you have to watch the video carefully keep all the ingredients ready follow step by step and you will get a proper taste thank you for watching my video please do like share and subscribe share it with your friends and family and also hit the notification bell and god bless you all